walking through the Tyler Rose Museum is something that Linda Crosby of Mineola enjoys. Her cardiac problems began 12 years ago. The next time I remember opening my eyes and the doctor looking over me and saying, Mrs. Crosby, you would have a massive heart attack. And I'm going, whoa. I closed my eyes and the next time I woke up, I had had open heart surgery. I'd had a five bypass. Over time, Linda's heart was not working the way it needed to. She started feeling weaker and having low energy. Her cardiologist, Dr. Robert Carney with Tyler Cardiovascular Consultants, recommended her for a research study. There's nothing they can do on the left side here, but on the other side, take a chance because this could make a huge difference. So I did, and I went in for surgery and they implanted um, this little, I call it a gizmo. I'm sorry, doctors, I'll give a gizmo. We had the idea of using this gizmo, that she calls it, as a stimulator. It's a research project that we have that looks at a novel way to help people that have, we've helped all we can help. And as it turned out, it's just a home run for her. It's just a home run. That gizmo is actually an implantable medical device called the Barrow Stem Neo System for heart failure. Director of Research Greg Murphy with Tyler CVC and Dr. Raul Torres are following 23 East Texas patients participating in this national study. The system has a pulse generator that is implanted under the skin below the collarbone. Signals are sent to the barrel receptor on the carotid artery and from there to the brain and kidney. This action regulates the tension on the blood vessel, improving heart function and reducing heart failure symptoms. Today, at age 75, Linda is feeling great. My husband calls me the Energizer Bunny, but now he calls me the Bio Bunny. I actually saw her at a concert, and she was literally dancing. She was out on the patio dancing at the same event that I was. And the, the thrill it brings to your heart, the joy it brings is just incredible. It's, it's an answer to a prayer, really. Tyler CVC and other sites will report their findings to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. We're reasonably confident uh, early on at this juncture that this is going to be approved because it seems to be extremely useful for people. So other cardiac patients like Linda can have a new lease on life. It's worth the chance and don't be fearful. Go for it.